Good evening everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Mawahib. So in today's video I am going to be testing out a coconut wax and the coconut wax I've actually never tested before and uh, it's called Eco Coco Wax from Livemore. So the website that I just mentioned and the coconut wax was actually brought to my attention by one of my supporters, um, Maria. She also does have her own Etsy shop where she sells candles so I'll leave her um, Etsy shop in the description down below as well as her Instagram so thank you so much Maria for your support and for bringing this wax and live more to my attention because honestly as soon as I started looking at live more's uh, website I just couldn't stop browsing they have such cool stuff I'll leave live more's website in the description down below so you guys can go check it out as well I'm not gonna keep you guys here for a long introduction let's just go straight into the kitchen so you guys can see how I'm working with the wax well first off i am going to be starting this video by lighting a candle up this candle has been curing for about two weeks now it's the a05 superior coconut soy and two eco two wicks i'm going to put my favorite podcast and then let's go ahead and start candle making so this is the eco coca wax from live more i'll leave that in the description down below everything that i use in this video will be linked in the description down below and i am uh, measuring 278 grams of wax for my two 20 centiliter candle containers i'm going to show you how the coconut wax looks up close and look how gorgeous that looks with the sunshine it looks so gorgeous um anyway i'm gonna go ahead and start wicking my um 20 centiliter candle container i am going to be testing two wicks a cl6 wick and a cl8 wicks which is the second candle container that i'll be wicking in a little bit but i normally just guide myself wicking in my wick like always because my hand is just constantly shaking literally so I have to um, guide myself with a pen and now I'm going to go ahead and wick my second candle and this is I believe the CLA and the first one was CL6 but we'll get into that details at the end of the video so over here I am going to be uh, mixing two fragrance oils and the two fragrance oils that I am going to be mixing are Oud and Red Roses from Cozy Owl. So I've chosen to measure out 12 grams of Oud and 10 grams of um, Red Roses and that equals to 22 grams in total of fragrance oil. As the usual, I have been using pipettes ever since I literally bought them from Amazon. I haven't stopped using them. I think I'm going to actually um, finish off the plastic pipettes and get reusable ones um, because I just keep using them and throwing them and it's just a waste. I'd rather get a reusable one. Uh, I found some on Amazon. I need to actually pick some up. Um, anyway, over here, I am starting to get ready to take my wax off of the stove. And over here, I'm about 60 degrees, I believe. I'll show you that up close but i think i'm around 60 degrees celsius and um live more does recommend that you pour your fragrance oil at 60 degrees celsius however i did choose to wait until 55 degrees before i poured my um fragrance oils in so yeah i am at 60 degrees here 60 degrees 0.5.1 I definitely recommend that you test different pouring temperatures um, so if you want to try pouring at 60 degrees then go ahead as the supplier recommends if you want to go ahead and add lower then go ahead and do that test different pouring temperatures and see what works best for you in terms of cold throw and hot throw I've gone ahead and added my fragrance oils in and I do time myself when I mix my wax and my fragrance oils for two minutes. Normally I actually put one minute on my timer, I give my wrist a rest for like three or five seconds and then go ahead and mix for another minute just so uh, my wrist doesn't hurt mixing continuously for two minutes. So I poured my fragrance oils at 55 degrees into the pouring pitcher and then by the time I mixed for two minutes I was about 54 to 53 degrees Celsius by the time I poured into my candle containers. I find it so interesting that the eco coco gives off a transparent color it's like you almost can't see it as you guys can see it's like it's actually blending into the color of the candle container a clear color which is so interesting in comparison to my other waxes actually because normally um i have a bit of color but not with the eco coco anyway over here i am doing my third candle and the fragrance oils that i am going to be using for it is french bear and french vanilla so i am going to be waiting until 50 degrees before i pour my fragrance oil into my pouring jug and then by the time i pour it into my can candle container i'd be around uh, 48 to 49 degrees so for this candle right there i decided to heat up the jar but I didn't heat up the jar for the other two candles that you see over there so I am going to go ahead and start mixing my fragrance oils for two minutes 
honestly i love love the combination of pear and vanilla it is two different fragrance oils by the way since i am mixing two fragrance oils in this video i do want to mention that if you do want to do that for your business then you have to have a clp labeling that's compliant to the mixture of the fragrance oils that you have used in your candles and you would normally get that um with the supplier they should normally provide you with that so all you need to do is just email them or call them up if you want to know more of how the process is but it does cost you more so bear that in mind so again i did pour my fragrance oils into my pouring jug at 50 degrees celsius and i poured into my candle container about 48 to 49 degrees by the time i mixed for two minutes it was such a beautiful day when i was filming this so i had to give you guys a little clip of my candles with a beautiful sunshine let's talk about the wax in the next clip coming up right now all right lovelies i am back i hope you enjoyed the little clip of me making the candles and right now let's just get straight into the characteristics of eco cocoa container blend live more actually has eco cocoa as a container blend and as a pillar blend so whatever candles you guys make if you make both pillar and container then pick up these two or if you only stick to container candles then pick up the container blend i'm on their website right now and like the usual i'm not going to read everything off of the website i'm just going to read the key points and then i'll leave it link in the description down below so you guys can read further eco cocoa container blend is a hundred percent natural blend of predominantly coconut wax with natural performance additives to improve burn and scent throw this wax does not contain any genetically modified ingredients such as soy palm or paraffin product it is biodegradable and vegan friendly moving on eco cocoa provides excellent hot and cold scent throw a bright white color which is an identifying characteristic stick of coconut wax and a smooth surface finish from a single pour with great gloss adhesion and the wax can take up to 12% fragrance load it is recommended to melt the wax to around 70 degrees celsius and pour at an approximately 60 degrees celsius they also recommend that you cure your candles 48 hours before burning but of course curing your candles can be up to 48 hours 72 hours a week or two weeks whatever your preference is that will be completely up to you i want to go through the results of my candles with you so the first candle that i'm going to be showing you right here is a 20 centiliter candle container i use the cl6 wicks the fragrance load is eight percent the fragrance oil that i used is a blend of red roses and oud from um, cozy owl i poured the fragrance oil at 50 degrees celsius i heated up the wax to 60 degrees celsius and by the time i poured it into my candle container i was about 54 to 53 degrees celsius so now let me show you the candle up front so this is the candle how gorgeous is that top and glass adhesion is smooth moving on this is also a blend of red roses and oud from cozy owl and the wick that i use is cl8 and it's also eight percent fragrance load and i also poured out 55 degrees obviously i made these two candles together this is the glass adhesion and i never heated up the jar as well and this is the top and for the last candle it's a 20 centiliter candle container i use tb8 wick and it's a cotton wick the fragrance load i used is 10 percent i poured my fragrance oil at 50 degrees celsius i heated up the wax to 62 degrees celsius and by the time i poured into my candle container i was at about 49 to 48 degrees celsius and the fragrance oil that i use are a blend of french pear and french vanilla from cozy owl and here's the results so this is the top and this is the sides i've got a wet spot over here but other than that it's gorgeous and smooth you now know the characteristics of eco cocoa i've shown you my results and i shared um pouring temperatures fragrance oils and all of that details and right now let me get into the cold throw of the candle so the cold throw for the candles that i made with the same uh, fragrance oil okay so the the cold throw is a three it's a three out of ten cold throw i'm not happy with a cold throw at all yeah i can barely smell it now i'm not sure is it my fragrance oil or is it because i mixed two fragrance oils but i've always mixed fragrance oils and it's never given me a bad cold throw so i'm not too sure why i'm getting a bad cold throw i'm experiencing really bad cold throw and looking back i can think of two things either my wax was too hot for me to pour my fragrance oils at 55 degrees 
or the wax is just not giving me a good cold throw. It can be my fragrance oils. That was three things. I said one of two things, but I think it's one of those three. I still have a bit of wax left actually. So I am going to be doing further testing on it. And I wanna see if it's my fragrance oil. I am going to test it with uh, supplies for candles, fragrance oils and, and London luxury supplies. So let me just smell the last candle. And that is the French pear and vanilla. And I mixed uh, two scents, uh, vanilla and pear. Yeah. Okay, this is much better. Yeah, guys, this is much better. Um, this is a 10% fragrance load and I'm getting a cold throw of a 7.5 out of 10. I wouldn't say it's an eight. Yeah, it's a good seven. I can smell it much better than the 8% fragrance load. So in terms of hot throw, I obviously haven't burn tested these candles yet. I will be burn testing them and doing my regular testing for my candles and kind of try to get to the bottom of it and see why my cold throw is not good and see if my hot throw is actually just as bad or better than my cold throw. Also, before I forget, guys, now that we are closer to spring summer, I actually did a bit of a mistake with my candles and I left them overnight obviously I didn't want to move my candles after I've poured them so I left them overnight and direct sunlight actually came on all of my candles that my candles started sweating so please make sure when you are making candles during uh, summer try not to put them in direct sunlight try to put them in the shade or somewhere cool um, because literally my candles started sweating and the way that I fixed it is I dabbed it with paper and made sure it's all nice and dry and then I ran a heat gun on the surface of my candle just so I can smooth everything out but when they actually started cooling I didn't feel like I needed the second pour and I didn't feel like I needed to heat gun my surface just because my candle started sweating then I had to um, fix it a little bit to make it look uh, nice and presentable. For those of you that do have small businesses let your customers know not to put their candles in direct sunlight because their candle will start sweating. Even the candle that I was burning in my video like you guys saw it was sweating as well because I left them all in direct sunlight and I completely forgot about it. That's just a little advice a mistake that I done so I thought I'd let you guys know just so you don't make the same mistake as I did. Honestly I'm super excited to test more with this um, wax. I love how easy it is. I love that it's biodegradable. I love that it's vegan. I love that it's a coconut wax. In general coconut waxes are harder to wick than soy waxes but I've genuinely been loving working with coconut waxes recently. I don't know maybe I might actually choose coconut wax over soy wax. We never know but I really want to sit down. I've been testing a lot of a lot of candles the waxes guys I really need to sit down and put my pros and cons and kind of make up my mind on what soy wax that I love either the deluxe soy the s100 or 464 or eco soy CB advance and what coconut wax that I like and stick to one soy wax and one coconut wax and then you know do proper testing uh, for these waxes that the ones that I officially make my mind up because I'm testing a lot of waxes I'm like falling in love with every single wax and I'm kind of getting confused so I definitely need to sit down write things down and kind of focus and see what I really want to use uh, for my future brand slash business if any of you are starting out and making candles and you're interested in coconut wax I recommend you either picking up the c6 wax or the eco cocoa that is it my lovelies I have gone through everything that I want to go through for you guys in this video I hope you guys do try out the eco cocoa and let me know what you guys think about it for anyone that that is looking for different types of waxes i do recommend that you look into the eco cocoa and let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about it and also let me know if any of you have tried eco cocoa out and what was your experience with it i'm gonna end the video right here and say thank you so much to every single one of you for all your support i have so much planned for us but I've, I've tried my best not to speak about it. Everything will come at the right time. I'm gonna leave you guys here and say, please make sure that you click on that subscribe button for more videos like this. Comment down below on what videos you'd like to see from me in the future. Give this video a huge thumbs up and don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you guys can get notified every time I post. Thank you so much again for your support. Have a lovely Wednesday evening. Enjoy the sunshine here in London. We're getting a few days of sunshine and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye guys.